Spencer is here from PeterborillSpeedway.com. We're talking about the 2014 Autumn Colors Classic coming up in uh, just a couple of weeks' time. Thanksgiving's getting awfully close, and I'm here with the reigning and defending Peterborough Speedway track champion, Flying Ryan Kimball. Now, Ryan, you got a big weekend coming up uh, at the Autumn Colors Classic, and you're going to try something a little bit new for this car. You're not actually going to run with the limited lates. You're going to go big game hunting in the Pro Late Model feature, 114 laps this year. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you got planned for the Classic. Yeah, we decided to make it as a pro. Uh, we ran limited there all year. The car was really good there. We're going to we're going to try something different, try it as a pro, just uh, some more laps and stuff. Uh, I believe it'll work really well there, just, uh, you know what, there's tons of laps there, it's just end up getting so many cautions and everybody just puts that helmet on and thinks they're going to win in the first couple laps and, you know, like last year, you know, start six, we thought we'd fall back to at least 10, 15, we were fine with that and got dumped before we even picked up the green flag, you know, guys just get so impatient and, uh, you know what, it's just a little bit of a luck too. That was uh, not quite our year there last year, so. Now running with the Prolates will definitely give you, it'll give you definitive home track advantage because, I mean, the guys that are from Delaware and, and Flamborough, they're only down once a year, whereas you're the track champion, you got a, a thousand laps around the place this year alone. I mean, that's gotta make you feel pretty confident entering the event knowing that uh, that you know the place a little bit better than uh, than what your closest pursuers might. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm a little scared about is taking the weight out. We ran uh, the limited there this year and actually ran about a good 75 to 80 pounds overweight. And uh, you know what, we decided to take the lead out one night and the car just, uh, it didn't like that. So you know what, it doesn't always mean it's always later. So if we run the pro, we might uh, run a little heavier or whatever, but it'll work. You know what, Bentley's came up there two years in a row and pretty much spanked the field. So, uh, you know. See what we can do. Now, you've run extended distance events in, in this car that you're, that you're standing beside right now as a limited late. Have you done a, a pro late model race with this car yet that, that, that gets into the deep water, you know, running, running 114 laps? Yeah, we geared up uh, this year for that big $5,000 win there, you know, ended up going to McCall's, putting a lot of time, a lot of money in this thing, and ended up just getting tore up early. And uh, we're probably the worst time trial going here. I might as well just put someone in there today to time trial, and I'll go back in for the future. But, uh, we got a little impatient there for the 100 lap uh, big dash pro late model race there this year and just, you know, started coming through the field and guys got wrecked and I just, you know, basically wasn't paying attention really. It was my fault, but. Now, does the car set up, does it, does it age as well in a pro late model as it does in a limited late? I mean, because I've seen this car, you know, come on strong late in the going in a limited late model race, you know, where, where your stuff doesn't really get burnt up, your stuff doesn't fall off. Uh, does this car perform as well uh, when, when geared up as a pro late model? Yeah, like when we changed it over to go to Quartha, and I mean, we ran against all the pros there. This thing was a rocket ship at Quartha, and uh, this thing was pretty much the fastest thing for the Quartha. Didn't have a lot of cars there, but had good cars. And, uh, you know, it runs with the ACT cars, stuff like that. We were out maybe down a little bit motor, but it just gets around the end so well. But there are some good cars in the ring. Well, pretty much the best, right? I mean, Jason Parker, Nick Gauthier, Corey Shepard, like, you know, Tom Walters. There's just, you know. There's no junk here. Running against the best. I mean, iron sharpens iron. So when you talk about the Autumn Colors Classic, the racing's really only half of it. The other half is all the shenanigans that goes on in the, in the campground, all the partying. I mean, the, the atmosphere itself, well, what's the best way to describe the Autumn Colors Classic at Peterborough Speedway? Oh, it's a pretty good weekend. Uh, you know what? I don't know the best way to describe it. I would take the next week off if you're going <laughs> to get into it like I do. I'm um, not much of a drinker or a big partier, but that weekend I get a little crazy. And we uh, had a big party there a couple of years ago. It was pretty wild. Uh, Rick Walt and I and Josh Grunts got pretty crazy at the barn party there last year and uh, ended up going into the feature. Luckily it rained out that Sunday because I was underneath the trailer. I was pretty sick. It was pretty much the shadiest and coolest spot there last year. But uh, you know what? Everyone comes to that, that track and it's like a big family thing, you know, good friends, stuff like that. And it's uh, just a good time. Now, you've been known to have a dance floor at your camper. Is that coming back for 2014? Uh, you know what? It's not going to because actually we don't even have a campsite this year, but uh, we didn't have a campsite there last year. But the year that we had a party, you know what? We geared up. We came here on the Velocity, and uh, there was a guy out there partying, and just me and the guys were like, you know what? We should do this. So we got the trailer, big old school bus. It was a bus. It was like a 1968 bus, dance floor, lights, 46-inch uh, flat screen, big six-foot speakers, and guys had a good time. It was... You know, Lane Zardo's so drunk, he beer pong, jumped on the table. It was, it was a good time. So come to Autumn Colors Classic, come see Ryan Kimball go to work, come see Ryan Kimball party, because that's, that's, a, that's a show on its own. Uh, and three days of racing, man. I mean, it, it's, it's going to get crazy, and you're going to get some of the best in the province. Ryan, I know getting all the way up to Peterborough, long haul from Norwood, I'm sure. <laughs> it's not possible with a whole lot of people behind the scenes and all the marketing support. Thank the folks that make this happen. Absolutely. Uh, you know what, first of all, i got to thank John Stewart. Anytime we come up for long hauls, gives us a brand new dually, brand new truck. 
You know what? I got the easy job. Wally Jensen gives me this phenomenal car. Sean Grossman, you know, helps out with the tires and stuff like that. You know, he's just a good friend. And uh, I got the easy job. I just turned left and couldn't be here without those guys. There you go, folks. He's an early favorite going to the 114 lap Pro Late Model feature. Peterborough Speedway Track Champion is Flying Ryan Kimball.